Hi guys. Uh, welcome to another review. This time I'm going to review uh, the latest game by Naughty Dogs, um, which is called The Last of Us. Um, Naughty Dogs is famous uh, company for developing uh, one of my all-time favorite game, which is the Uncharted 2 game. Um, they they are they are really really good at um, uh, creating um, very realistic uh, characters, uh, very fun games, and uh, very responsive control and very beautiful graphics. Um, I always love that. I always appreciate when uh, developers put effort into the game. So let's go into um, the Last of Us, which is the latest game from Naughty Dogs. Now, first of all, I just want to mention that IGN gave this game a uh, full marks 10 out of 10, which is uh, it's ridiculous actually. I mean, the last uh, game that got a high mark was Tomb Raider. They gave Tomb Raider uh, 9.1 out of 10, if I'm not mistaken. And but to me, Tomb Raider deserve it, and it's a much, 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 much better game than uh, The Last of Us, and uh, I will explain shortly. Now, uh, just just want to mention that Tomb Raider that came out re the reboot of Tomb Raider uh, actually copied a lot from the Uncharted series in terms of uh, character design, character control, very fluid movement beautiful graphic and stuff like that so they control they copied a lot from uh, uncharted but they made it their own and tomb raider is to me is uh an, is an amazing game so they it, for me it deserved the 9.1 if not more so when uh the latest game from naughty dogs the very much awaited game came out as 10 out of 10 it shocked a lot of people so um, naturally, I always appreciate the uh, the game by them. So I bought it, and uh, I have played uh, quite a lot. But I, I'm 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 putting a stop to it right now because uh, for some reason, for uh, for a big reason which I will go into. Let me just start with the story of the Last of Us. Last of Us is about uh, a guy, uh, I forgot his name. I, I mean, the names are not that important. I think you, the guy who is, go is given a task to smuggle a girl, uh, in this post-apocalypse world where everybody is infected by some sort of uh, plant-based spore that change human into zombies and monsters, and uh, this girl is. Uh, apparently immune to the to the virus so the, the 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 premise and the background story is quite quite superb quite good and um, I want to add that the 10 minutes into the game is really really amazing 10 minutes in you know you are astounded by the quality of the story and uh, very moving very emotionally touching gut-wrenching as I would say so we started off very well on the right foot and then um, coming to the story. Let's just, I'm going to start with the good first. Now, the good is apparent in a lot of Naughty Dogs uh, games, which is first, beautiful graphics. I mean, the one, the graphics here is uh, on par with I would Tomb Raider, the previous Tomb Raider. I mean, the previous, the, the latest reboot of Tomb Raider, on par with that. I mean, but they have produced a good world good graphic amazing detail on a ps3 the character looks very human very well designed just like lara croft i can i have to compare it with another benchmark of course is to raider so this is on par with that if not even more the character of the little girl looks very realistic she looks like ellen page a younger ellen page but uh, you know that's subject subjective uh, the guy is very well designed too, so very kudos on that, very well. 
character design that's a good part second good part uh, of this game is the fluidity of the control which I think is a no-brainer every company if you are creating a game should have fluid control easy to control so this game has it and just like Tomb Raider very fluid very easy to control uh, very responsive control so this game have that uh, what else um, yeah and the story the story is quite 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 extensive quite complex I have to warn you that this is more complex than uh, uh, than the Uncharted series uh, I think it, has, it is more complex and more deeper more depth um, but I, one thing that I think f I just want to tell everybody that uh, before playing the game if you can stomach Dead Space series the Dead Space on PS3 the Space 1, 2, 3 and stuff you will be if you can stomach that space you can go through you can play Lies of Us with a, you know it's as a natural thing because if you can't play that space if you can't stomach the violence the gore and stuff like that and the horror be one that the Lies of Us is full of that the Lies of Us is not a uh, fun adventure game like Uncharted it is more of a horror survival horror seriously for this is a scary game um, uh, very 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 forget Resident Evil I'm gonna stay off forget Resident Evil forget that space I mean this scares the shit out of me seriously uh, I'm exhausted just by going you know my heart you just like boom 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 uh, you know that space has been moving towards more action oriented because they, they, the game the earlier games were too really too dark and uh, I can't finish I finished Dead Space 2 and 3 I cannot finish 1 1 was really dark and horror and um, this beats Last of Us beats, beats the Dead Space series in terms of survival horror this is real survival horror forget Resident Evil forget Dead Space from now on uh, because the Last of Us rules in terms of survival horror so before you buy this, you have to know that because this game is scary and uh, shocking in parts. Yeah, which is can also be one of the one of the bad points of the game because if you're not into it, uh, then you'll be turned off because it's not and uh, fun. The only thing the word fun, you should throw it out the window. This is uh, one of the big weakness. I'm just. Let's jump straight off into the weakness of the game. The game is so serious. I mean, you have banter between the girl and uh, the man taking care of her, but everything else is so dead serious, so dark, and uh, to a point quite depressing. Um, I that's why I, for me, it shouldn't give. I should. It shouldn't get ten out of ten, even though it's technically proficient, technically advanced. It shouldn't get 10, 10 out of 10 because here's why <laughs> the most simple reason it's not it's no longer fun to play it I mean I've been playing the game since the Saturday and I just find the game so dark so depressing you know just like Dead Space 1 I think it's just it's no payoff you know so so depressing so dark and so I don't know I'm uh, scary I mean the scary part I can like just gloss over but the 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 dark team or uh, it's just I don't know it just affects affects me um so very little hope in the game though the only levity that I find in the game the only good things about the good thing that stayed with me because it's you have this girl who is cheerful and positive, so she's fine to be around. But when she's away, the game just goes down into a dark, deep hole, which I really wasn't uh, wasn't into it so much. Now, another biggest reason why I really am turned off about the game, which I think he shouldn't get 10 out of 10, is I call the 
the uh, uncharted three uh, dead shipyard problem uh, now what do I mean by that now in the famous infamous uh, uncharted three um, you there is a level inside that game a very f infamous level which is about um, a, a shipyard full of old old ships no longer being used and in uncharted 3 that is one of the level that i hate so much i hate playing that it is such a grueling a uh, very torturing torturing level it was not designed to be fun there's no payoff at all from that level they shouldn't have done that but it was a very long dull and repetitious and boring and level and there's no payoff to it uh, that was that is in Uncharted 3 this called a shipyard level or something where the whole place is full littered with rusting ship now, I mean, in The Last of Us, imagine that the whole, so far the game I'm playing, I've been playing is like full of that. It's all about that, that damn shit yard level because you have replaying long, 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 boring, dull, repetitious level and just I, the feeling that you get is there's no there's no even not even a good pay payoff and the feeling of that you get is just so exhaustive so tiring so that you find i find that in this in the in the in lies of us there's a lot of that it's just just a, a downer and a repetitious level i don't know why they do it i mean uh, the they should have actually look at uh, how Tomb Raider design their levels. I mean, Tomb Raider copied from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, but they improve on the level design, on the gameplay. You are not playing, you are always have, you don't play one scenario for so long or repetitious or boring. They always give the level just enough time to be to spend in and then you don't do repetitious stuff in Tomb Raider so Tomb Raider learned that from uh, improve on that when I chatted so but unfortunately um, Naughty Dogs didn't learn from it and then just churn out repetitious and long-winded level design so you have you are, it's just boring it's just torture torture and on top of that you are being assaulted by all this horror which which is very well done but added that, that kind of level design and gameplay where is you are meeting them again and again and again doing in the same place in the same situation it's just so boring so dark so so depressing so i had to stop because the game was just taking its toll on my soul I call it soul draining now because it can't I can't go on anymore. So that's that's the one two biggest I think stinker of the game. And the third one there are bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs mean there are error. And one of the biggest error is is <laughs> I don't know whether it's a it's it's a glitch, but bad guys can't see you even if you are hiding just behind a, a chair or a, a this high desk because if i'm if i'm stuck there and i'm looking at the at the bad guy around here in front of him the bad guy is in front of me he can't see me and that's how ridiculous the bug so i just if he goes yeah just just follow the small table <laughs> And he can't see me, ridiculous. So uh, it shouldn't be nine out of nine. I thought it shouldn't be ten out of ten by IGN. Um, so you got that's my three biggest dislike about the game, which is, you know, which is, uh, is uh, I think it's not. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be ten out of ten. Technically, they are very proficient, but I think Tomb Raider is the better. 
in terms so in terms of survival horror this beats out everybody so there is some sort of paradox here playing around uh what 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 do i give this game a score i'm also quite confused about it right now because just like Dead Space, I, I give the Dead Space quite high mark, but I don't play it because it's so dark. I, however, I will still give this game a uh, 9 out of 10. Even though all the limit, all the weaknesses that I mentioned, they are not small weaknesses, they are big weaknesses. But I give it 9 out of 10 because it is, as it is the proficiency of creating a game world so detailed, so fluidly designed and uh, you know if you're patient it's still astounding to just to see this world being created on that ps3 and the, and the character design of ellie which is uh, the girl that you see in the game and uh, very very well designed and uh, but it's not a game that i will be playing again and again it's not a game that i will be close to my heart it's just a high ranking game high score game because it's very well proficient uh technically but it's emotionally drowning draining uh repetitious level i mean i call it the the shop the sh shipyard level is type of design the shipyard level design just like in chapter 3 the most horrible level design ever so there's a lot of that in this game it really discouraged me from replaying the game or wanting to continue because it's so exhaustive and unfortunately that's my review of it i if, i would give this even though i give it nine out of ten i give it nine with my thumbs down even though it give a high score for this game it will never be in my favorite game list it will never be my favorite game list seriously because it's so dark it's so depressing it doesn't make me happy and uh, you and then you just you just piling all this negativity in my in yourself and i'm thinking like this is not fun anymore it's not fun it's just repetitious gaming so even though i give it a high score it's not i give it because of a technical issue technical uh competency but in terms of emotionally i'm not in in this anymore i'm just exhausted and strangely i love you know killing bad guys but after you kill so many bad guys in this game i you you get somehow because it's so emotionally draining you get numb and you get disgusted by it i don't know whether it's me uh, but that's my uh, early review of The Last of Us. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I know it's been a long video. Thank you, guys.